hey guys welcome back to my channel yeah 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 give me love oh yeah yeah i'll give you love oh yeah yeah oh give me love oh yeah yeah oh to the top to the left to the road to the mid to the o back again with another video so, i know it's been like four months there about is it four months i think it's about four months and i haven't posted but in this video i'm going to be giving valid explanations on where i've been and what i've been up to and what i've been doing but first of all i want to give a very big shout out to all my subscribers if you've been with me from day one i want to thank you so much for still staying with me you know not seeing content from me for me for a while like oh, where's this girl anyway guys i'm here and in this video we're going to be you know discussing if you're already enjoying this video do click the like button also subscribe if you're new and if you're not new you know the vibes so now let's get into this video there's this point in everyone's life where everyone needs a break like you just need to take a chill pill you know, you're working hard you're doing everything like you just need to take a break and your times and this was what happened to me before i took my break so i was really considering on youtube like if you check my videos like they were just going back to back as of my last video and even the video before that i was feeling kind of tense at a point i wasn't enjoying youtube anymore i wasn't enjoying filming i was just pushing out i was just trying to push out videos because i wanted to give you guys content the reason why i think i took a break was because i was trying so hard you know to fit into the new youtube community and to sit in front of the camera was such a big deal at first for me it's even still a big deal for me now because i'm feeling so nervous filming this video because it's been so long and you know editing you know because Becoming a public figure, having people watching you from different parts of the world who you don't even know. So like you had to give them like content. Like so I was trying to fit into everything. You know, I didn't realize that as I was doing all that, I was literally losing myself. But I became so engrossed in YouTube, like YouTube, 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 YouTube. I was also having online classes, but I couldn't fully concentrate on that. Every week I was checking for good videos to film, practicing in the bathroom by myself, trying to film videos, you know, doing so many things just to have a very good YouTube channel. I didn't even really have time for myself. I was just all about YouTube, YouTube. And like they say, what you love could destroy you, destroy me, but I knew that I needed to take a break. Also, I felt like at a point, YouTube made me feel less of myself. I I had set a goal for myself and by all means I wanted to attain that goal. I found myself comparing my channel with bigger YouTubers, quite with 100,000 subscribers and I was at 400 subscribers. You know my channel was growing like it grew faster than I had expected it to grow thanks to you guys but we are all human beings I want to start a channel today, the next day 50 subscribers, second day 100 you know before it gets to 1 million subscribers but people who had 1 million subscribers they didn't just download YouTube and then 1 million subscribers came with it but knowing that you're going to still get there one day like i needed to realize that i was comparing myself with bigger youtubers i was feeling less of myself you know i was feeling bad about my channel i just knew that okay this wasn't like a healthy competition i was meant to see these people's channels as like um encouragements and what's the word motivations like to build up my own channel but instead i was looking at oh she has 1000 subscribers and i'm still have 400 subscribers meanwhile i started youtube before her things like that they were very healthy and i knew that this was not the kind of youtube channel i wanted to have so i knew that i needed to take a break also i was controlled by my numbers oh my god i would literally wake up in the morning and the first thing i check is my youtube how many subscribers do i have who has unsubscribed like i said i had set goals for myself and when i saw that they were not moving as fast as i wanted to i started feeling bad like i would <sighs> If I want to get to 500 subscribers and I'm at 400 subscribers, I give myself this 10 subscriber goal every day. So in a day, I'm getting to 410. The next day, I'm getting to 420. So if a day comes and I'm still at 405 and I need to get to 410 by that day, I'm sad. When people unsubscribe, I just like, I just start crying. They're making me feel like less of myself that, and I knew that I needed to take a break. I was allowing you to control me and my emotions. I needed to re-strategize and see how, you know, next steps for the betterment of my channel, you know, just blend into the YouTube community. Just know that okay these things are going to happen you feel like your channel isn't going as fast as it should but knowing that you're still going to get to where you want to be it should just be at the back of your mind so let's get into what i was doing while i was away i started doing more things for myself i 
engaged myself in my online classes more had more time for myself like the first week that i didn't have to plan a video or practice by myself in the bathroom i'm sure my brain was have been so thankful like oh this guy's finally taking a break it felt so good not to like have to push out content that week because from the day i get video ideas in my head till the time i want to film another video i'm under pressure getting content to film you know rehearsing what i was going to say so i won't so i won't come in front of the camera and be stammering editing posting for uploading the video for like four hours then getting people to watch the video so much stress i started doing a more of you know hanging out with my friends you know reflecting on myself i was actually planning on vlogging you know all that period where i was on a break and i actually started but then corona we had to go back to school and it was just so like impromptu the next week i was meant to resume but then there was no way i could like rush up things finish editing posting the video and everything so i was just like okay this is like a blessing in disguise i'm still on break so i just took that like an extended break but i knew that i was going to post a video like this you know talking about where i've been and what i've been doing probably when i advocated so school started and there was no way i could you know juggle everything school but education comes first i wasn't just waking up in the morning and the first thing i was checking was how many subscribers i had i was still telling people to subscribe to my channel i was still advertising my channel like because you know we're in this corona period lockdown people who i was able to talk to about my channel were very limited i had to tell friends to tell friends to tell friends but then when i was at school i was able to see people you know tell teachers and they were also helpful and they all you know like helped me grow my channel which is where we are today also guys one thing which was very exciting for me last year which I am actually so thankful for up to day I started a business so I'd actually been having this in mind you know, from beginning of last year and then during that whole lockdown period I was still putting things in place to know my potential customers things I was going to be involved in you know just like planning the business as a whole so with the help of God my parents and myself I was able to you know gather all my resources and everything I, and i finally started a business and the name of my brand is called cheeky baby cheeky baby is a brand that deals in wholesale and retail sales of lip glosses hair accessories and fashion accessories and bundles filled with fashion i came up with this affordable. idea on selling lip glosses you know hair pins and everything during that period when i was on a break and my sister also you know helped me you know strategize you know where we're going to get our things from you know how to make them as affordable as they can be because trust the products are very 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 affordable the brand name was inspired by my dad he gave me this nickname when i was little we we're trying to like figure out brand names i was thinking something that had to do with my name so guys we are determined to make it the one stop store for chicks all chic items lip glosses very soon we're going to go into makeup products you know hair accessories like hair pins scrunchies bracelets rings all at affordable prices we also have bundles which are filled with some of our products when you get them in the bundle you get them cheaper so we have different kinds of bundle like baby girl bundle rosaline bundle and so much more also guys there are also press on nails we have these are some of the designs then when you get your packages we have sticker like um a seal like to seal your packages and everything the branded name phone a phone number and our instagram handle i don't know if you guys will be able to see it it was really black i hope you guys can even see all the things i'm showing you but anyway this is it make sure you shop all our quality and affordable items i have so much more items but i can't show you guys everything which is why you should visit our instagram store the link is going to be in the description box below we we'll have wholesale deals more than eight of our products are available in wholesale and trust me the prices are affordable also make your own money from me. all i have to say is that i'm super grateful to everyone that has been with me through this journey we are still growing but i'm thankful to you guys for staying with me because my channel won't be a success without you guys subscribing watching my videos and everything because i couldn't have done that by myself life is a process everything is a process everything is a journey if you know that you have an idea on anything go for it sis there are going to be people who are going to discourage you a lot of people are telling that oh your youtube channel will not grow this will be too populated people people who will love you will love you i just want to let you guys know that and um you're not going to get there in one day room wasn't built in one day but you knowing that you're going to get there at the end of the day should be at the back of your mind i'm at five subscribers today i'm going to get to one thousand even though it takes me two years four years it will take you four years but even if it takes me a lot of time 
1000 subscribers i'm going to get there and if you believe in yourself <laughs> nobody can tell you anything that's going to make you feel less of yourself i may not be as active as i should be because very soon i'll be back in school so i won't be as consistent as i ought to be but i just knew that i needed to put out this video to let you guys know that i'm very much alive and cute i anticipate some videos i don't know if i'll be able to post some videos that i have in mind before i go to school but videos are going to come please stay subscribe share this video with your friends and family and everybody that you know give it a very big thumbs up follow me on my instagram don't forget to check out my business page everything's going to be in the description box below before i forget guys happy new year i wish you guys the best this year i pray everything that you plan everything that you have in mind to achieve this year come to pass stay safe stay healthy stay pretty you know that you can do all things through christ that strengthens you and i'm going to see you guys in my next video i love you guys so so much bye guys like that show, we go like we see, we go buy I go love you, I know go